This is the moment that a lot of us have feared and unfortunately it's coming true. Today, AI is starting to make a breakthrough when it comes to e-commerce and specifically becoming an entrepreneur. And this is something that you can adapt and use and really exponentially increase your business and grow your business. Or it's something that you can neglect and it's probably gonna be detrimental for you in the future. In this video, I'm breaking down five different ways that you can use ChatGPT, which is artificial intelligence, as an Amazon FBA seller. Now, first and foremost, if you don't have ChatGPT, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and type in Chat chat.openai.com and you're gonna sign up for an account. Now it is absolutely free for an account. They do have a paid version which you can sign up for, but you do not need that when you're starting out. With that being said guys, let's get into tip number one. Tip number one, we're gonna be using ChatGPT to come up with a brand name. Now for this example, I told ChatGPT to come up with 10 brand names for a company that specializes in children's toys. Now you can use this to come up with brand names, you can also use this to come up with business names. So when once you type that in, you're gonna go ahead and hit enter, and what it's gonna do is it's literally gonna to start to populate these 10 different lists within seconds. Now, I will say this, you wanna look at these with a grain of salt, and if you're gonna start a brand around these, you're gonna take your top three favorites, this is what I recommend you doing, and you're gonna to wanna to go and make sure that they are not trademarked. The mistake that I made in the past was coming up with these awesome names and then launching a reputable brand around it, coming to find out that you cannot trademark that brand. So you do not wanna make that mistake before you start putting all your time, effort, energy, and resources into building a brand, you wanna make sure that you can trademark that brand. So once this is populated, you can then tell it to regenerate a response, which means it'll repopulate a new 10. You could say things like, great, show me five more, or show me 10 more, or give me 25 more, or you can even say, give me five more examples and make them more fun sounding. Right, so I will tell you this, the more specific you are with the directions that you give ChatGPT, the better results that you're gonna get. So here you can see it literally changed these names and it made them a little bit more playful, right? You can then say, great, make them all one word, right? And then what it'll do is it'll adjust it to a, a list of names that are literally playful around a brand where you'd be selling children's toys and they would all be one single word, right? Kid Zoozle, Playtastic, Wonderworks, Rain Pops, Imaginate, so on and so forth. So you can literally go down this rabbit hole of just refining it to find exactly what works. And like I said, just because they're finding these does not mean that they are not trademarked. So once you do this, you definitely wanna make sure that you run them through a company and make sure that they are not trademarked. That way you can launch them. All right, diving into tip number two, you can use ChatGPT and AI to help you with product research. Now, when it comes to finding products to sell on Amazon, there are literally millions of products and you have to have a tool to be able to refine through these searches and to find a product that's gonna work for you. Our tool that we recommend here on the channel is Jungle Scout. Those guys have been kind enough to give all of our users and followers a discount. You can go to discountonjunglescout.com to get access to a discount on Jungle Scout so you can start finding your first or your next successful product. The beautiful thing is now you can use ChatGPT in conjunction with your standard product research tool to help refine your searches and also give you some additional information that can help you find products. For example, we're using, we're gonna use the same example, the uh, children's brand, the children's toy brand. I can say, give me 10 kids toy products that I could sell on Amazon. And it's literally gonna create a list of 10 toy products, right? And again, you can say, give me 20, you can give me 30, give me 50, give me 100, and you wanna look through this. Now, the beautiful thing is if you already have a brand and you're already selling products, you can literally put in your product, and let's say you were selling kids building blocks for learning, you could say, find me a complimentary product or a next product that I can add to my product line that would complement building blocks. And now this can help give you ideas around new products that you could launch in terms of bundles, in terms of complimentary products, or your second or third product that you're gonna be launching. In addition to that, you can also choose one of these products and you can ask ChatGPT to literally give you some ways to improve this product or some ways to make this product unique. Let me give you an example. 
And here you can see it's literally gonna populate three different ways to make a building block toy set for my kids brand on Amazon Unique. And you, again, you can literally just go down this rabbit hole and ask it all of these refining questions and it's gonna help do a lot of the heavy lifting for you. And I'll give you one more pro tip that I love doing. Whenever I'm doing product development, what I like doing is I like going to these brands on Amazon and I like clicking the one star and I like clicking the five star and I like making a list of what the one star things are or what are the problems and the five star things are and what the people like. And I will literally come in here to ChatGPT and upload all of the direct complaints in the one star and ask ChatGPT to help come up with resolutions or ways to solve these problems. You can then take that answer and you can give them to your supplier so you can solve these problems. This is my number one tip for differentiating and improving products that I'm gonna sell. All right, so diving into tip number three, we're gonna be using AI to create an Amazon listing. Now, this is something that used to take many hours for me to literally write the copy myself, or you would have to go and pay a copywriter to do this. Now we can literally use ChatGPT as a copywriter and as an assistant to help us. There's a few different ways you can do this. You can put in your competitors' listings and have them be rewritten. You can also use different examples and upload that so that you can have machine learning and say, write me a listing like this. Or you can write a paragraph that is very descriptive. Now here we say, create me an Amazon listing for my kids' building block brand, including everything I need. And then in brackets, I put recommended price, title, bullets, and description. I also go on to say, describe this playfully catering to parents who would buy this for their kids. And here you can see within seconds, it's actually gonna start to populate this Amazon listing, starting with title and then giving us our bullets, followed by our description. Now at the bottom, you're also gonna see the recommended price. And here's a few ways that you can optimize this. If you know your keywords that you want to have density, if you know your main money keywords like children's learning blocks or children's play blocks, for example, you could then also put those in quotations and say, make the listing dense with this keyword. And what it's gonna do is start sprinkling those keywords in a little bit more frequently. That way you can start to rank for this. And this is SEO or search engine optimization. On top of that, if you already have your brand, you can also say my brand name and it'll use your brand name and then also have your keywords. Have higher density of these three keywords and it'll sprinkle these keywords a little bit more frequently than others so that you have a higher chance of ranking. It will also give you a recommended price for this product. You can also ask this now to literally create multiple variations or examples and you can choose which one you like. So again, the more specific you are and the more refined your questions are that you're asking, the better results that you're gonna get. Now for tip number four, we're gonna be talking about keywords. After you have your listing done, it's time to do your keyword research and start your campaigns and start doing SEO so we can start to rank our product or our brand. So I'm simply gonna ask ChatGPT, give me a list of 10. And again, for time sake, I'm doing 10 and five, but you can go ahead and say 15, 25, 50, even 100. The most that I've seen it do is 150, but you can play around with numbers and if it says it can't do it, you can always reduce it. And then you can say, well, great. If it gives you 100 keywords, you can say, give me 100 new ones that don't overlap the previous 100. And you can keep doing it like that and you can keep building your list. So I'm gonna say, give me a list of 10 keywords that we can use for SEO on our Amazon listing as well as ads for our children's toy block set. And it's gonna give us 10 keywords. And again, you can say, give me 10 more, give me 10 new ones, give me 50, give me 100, so on and so forth. Now, a pro tip, if you know what your money keywords are, and you've already done some due diligence inside of Jungle Scout or Google Keyword Planner or any of these other tools or resources, you can then say, give me variations around this keyword. Give me long tail keywords around this keyword, and you can really start to build up your list of keywords and search phrases and search terms, so you can start to find these new pockets of revenue and these new money keywords or low-hanging fruit, figuratively speaking, that other people aren't using. For example, let's say toy blocks was our money keyword. I could say, give me five long tail keywords using toy blocks. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna use the keyword toy blocks and it's gonna give you five long tail keywords. 
best wooden toy blocks for toddlers, eco-friendly toy blocks for creative play, educational toy blocks for STEM learning. These are all keywords that are being searched that are semantically relevant around that money keyword. So again, I know I've said this more than twice already, but don't just get lazy with the AI. Make sure that you're using machine learning. Make sure you're being very specific and you're diving in. What I will tell you, which is a hack, is every time you start a new chat, you wanna keep all of your questions within that chat and you wanna give it as much data as possible so it can start to machine learn. And you can correct it. If it gives you an answer that you don't like, if it gives you a response that you don't like, say why you didn't like it or what it did wrong and how you wanted to do it differently. Does that make sense? And this is gonna help you get the best results and literally crush it, be able to crush it with AI as a copywriter. Now for this final tip, tip number five, I wanna show you how you can use ChatGPT in AI to help you with answering customers' questions. So you can go to your listing or go to whatever listing it is that you want to um, answer the question from and you can literally copy the question and then you can go back to ChatGPT and you can literally put the customer's question in here and you can say, answer this customer's question on Amazon for me. And then what it's gonna do is it's literally gonna answer the question for you in the perspective of you answering it. Now again, you can say go in more detail, make it shorter, you can literally give it more specific results. You can say give me five bullet points, give me five examples. You can even say translate this into a different language if you need to. So again, use this with a grain of salt and make sure that you're using it very specifically and intuitively. That way you can offer the most value to your customers. You definitely don't want it to come off as a robot or an AI that is answering these questions. You can then add some humor to it. You can change words up. You can ask it to be a little bit more specific, so on and so forth. I would literally copy this. I would put it into a notepad or something like that. I would adjust it. I would put a thank you at the bottom. Let us know if you have any other further questions and literally make it a little bit more personal. And then I would literally copy paste that and answer that question in Amazon. And boom, this can literally be done within seconds. So if you have a VA managing your account health or managing your Amazon account or you're doing this, you don't have to use too much brain power and you can literally start to knock out these questions quickly, whether this is email support or Amazon support. And there you have it guys, in conclusion, those are five powerful ways that you can use AI or artificial intelligence, specifically chat GPT to start grow or scale your online Amazon business. Let me know down below in the chat if you got value from this and if you're using ChatGPT or any other AI and if you would want to see more AI powered videos here on the channel. I personally am investing a lot of time, effort, energy and actually money in programs and courses and have become pretty obsessed with the topic in the last two months. So I've been doing a lot of research. I've been training my AI pretty crazy. So if you guys wanna see some more videos, I definitely love to chat them. And you guys know the rest, you're only one product away.